Hello everyone, welcome back to the Bridgemaster Expert Series. We're starting today with some more, well, today we will be doing some more C's, starting with C19. East bids two spades, and we're in four hearts. Uh huh. So East is going to win the ace of spades and return a spade, and West can rough, so we're not going to get to enjoy our king. But... We can choose whether West roughs the second spade or the third spade, which could be important in rectifying the count for some kind of squeeze, maybe? Or actually, could be important for getting to discard a club or a, a spade loser. Like if we make West rough the second spade, then East hasn't won the third one yet. And then maybe we could win something and discard the spade but it doesn't look like it right how is dummy ever going to get another trick if it goes spade ace spade king rough diamond i won't have a late entry to the established clubs even if they are three three so it looks like we want to play a club diamond squeeze as our only hope and It seems like it would be better to have one loser for that. Maybe there's some reason that a two loser squeeze would be better. In which case we should play the king. Like... Hmm. Why would you want a two loser squeeze here? Okay, we can play. We can follow the first trick at least. But now we have to decide whether we play the king or small. So, okay, the one loser squeeze is very simple to analyze, and we can say when it works and when it doesn't. Quite simply, if we duck, East will have to continue another spade to make sure we don't get the king. We will then have six hearts, two clubs, and a diamond. Nine tricks. And the squeeze uh, pretty much requires that West has the King Queen Jack of Diamonds, or, you know, maybe any seven diamonds. And also that West have at least four clubs. That all seems possible. If we tried to play the King now, what would our situation be? It would just be terrible. There's no two loser squeezes, right? No, I mean, is that true? Like if, if West actually has King, Queen, Jack of diamonds and four clubs, you actually can if you want, I th and you can guess correctly, you can you can play that as a one loser squeeze or two loser squeeze, because you could run all of your major suit cards, well, all of your hearts, and that brings everyone down to f four cards because West will have knocked out the Ace of Diamonds, right? West has to keep three clubs, so he can only keep one diamond, so you can duck a diamond to him. So it actually does seem that the two loser squeeze does work just as well as the one loser squeeze. So is there some reason to prefer one over the other? The obvious reason is that the one loser squeeze, you don't have to guess anything. Is there an improvement where, like, you can survive a little bit better if East... I don't know. Has some relevant diamond holding. Like... You would sort of like to duck a diamond, or even better, a club, before going after the squeeze. But you can't do that, because the, the diamond entry will be knocked out. So ducking a club is no good. 
ducking a diamond helps if East has six diamonds to an honor. But you can't duck a diamond to him because he could cash a spade. Is there... There's not some guard squeeze in diamonds so that East has to hang on to spades and then you can make him give up his diamond stopper or something? I don't, I don't think that makes any sense. We have way too many clubs for that. I don't know. I think I'm just going to play the one loser squeeze. I need West to have King, Queen, Jack of Diamonds. Which means ducking here. Uh, I'll be interested to see if there was some reason that not ducking is better. Uh, I guess it's also worth counting diamonds. It's unlikely to matter, but this three could become a threat if West has seven diamonds somehow. He pitched one diamond and he played one. So the opponents have played three of their diamonds. They started with eight. They have five left. Four. Two. So jack and one remain. This ten of diamonds is not winning any tricks anytime soon. Okay, well, I mean, if West did have the jack, he's been squeezed out of his club, I guess. Looking good? Nope, wrong. I wasn't counting clubs, but it just seemed like they might be... <laughs> they might all be gone. Um, yeah... So what are you supposed to do here, then? I guess the spades are also sort of a threat if you haven't ducked one. Is that interesting somehow? I don't think it is. Because, like, East is the only one guarding spades, and West is the only one guarding diamonds, and they get double squeezed in clubs. But you have too many losers. You can't apply that double squeeze if you play the king on trick two, right? After cashing all the hearts... Two spades and a diamond have also been played. So everyone will be down to four cards. Declare has a spade, a diamond, and two clubs. Dummy has the ten of diamonds and three clubs. Right? East can keep a spade and three clubs. West can keep a diamond and three clubs. Hmm. But one diamond isn't enough. So maybe it is this delayed duck squeeze that I thought was... But it, it's a, like a two loser? Well, of course two. Yeah, hmm. It's almost like a two loser double squeeze, but like that doesn't really exist, does it? Probably it somehow does. So when we come down to four cards, West, well, West doesn't even have to keep a club, right? He can just keep two diamonds and two clubs, because East is guarding the clubs just fine. So if you try to duck a diamond, he'll just cash another one. 
That will mean that West has given up clubs. And I guess at that point, you exit a spade to east, squeezing west, and east can only return a club, because he had to pitch all of his spare spades to keep his three clubs. Huh. That's interesting. So we're sort of squeezing the spade winners out of east. So we're going to have to do a lot of counting here of several suits. East still has four spades, three. Uh, we don't need dummies spade for anything, but we also don't need dummies long clubs, really. Two spades. One spade. Yeah, so at this point, if you believe that the clubs are 3-3, you should exit a spade. This squeezes west. Doesn't it? How come I'm having to pitch from dummy? I don't, I don't like it. I guess the two of diamonds is still a threat. Because East had to get rid of his diamonds as well, right? And the two of diamonds isn't a winner. But East still has all this, the clubs. Like, wait a minute. Something didn't go right here. Oh, no, wait. West had to... Okay, right. So this is... The diamonds are now, like, going to work. I don't need to pitch a club. I don't need to save the club. West can't get to east in diamonds or uh, for, for the spade, and we've set up the diamond. So it is a delayed duck in diamonds. Why does that work? I guess it's sort of not, because we didn't actually squeeze anything out in clubs. But then why did West have to come down to just one diamond? He was It was to keep some number of clubs, right? If I hit undo a few times, what was that position I was at? When I realized, okay, so here, it's a... F Everyone's coming down to four cards. I see. West has to keep the club guard because if he doesn't, then is East squeezed in the black suits somehow? It doesn't seem that way. Why doesn't West just pitch his club here? Right? Because here we are, we know West's cards are the Queen Jack of Diamonds and three clubs. So why doesn't he just come down to Queen Jack of Diamonds and two clubs? East still guards the clubs. Doesn't he? Yeah, because... If I cash the heart, East can come down to a spade and three clubs, and that's fine. They they still have everything handled, I feel like. Okay, so, I mean, I guess I'll just win again and then go look at, before I go look at the solution. But why, I don't understand. I must be missing something about why West can't afford to pitch clubs. Did East already pitch a club or something? He shouldn't have, right? Because he can come down to three clubs and a spade. Yeah. 
Yeah, King will be roughed, but you should play anyway. To preserve a small spade as a possible squeeze threat. Okay. You have two losers. If West is the only one guard, you can arrange a double squeeze. East will have to guard spades and West diamonds. West should be allowed to win the diamond trick. Oh. I didn't do that. Yeah, why didn't I do that? That was exactly what I wanted to do. I was saying, oh, if only I could duck a diamond. But, like, obviously I can just do that. And why does my line work? It doesn't, right? East comes down to three clubs and a spade when I cash the last heart. West should pitch a club, but he didn't. But if he does, maybe I can exit a spade to east? No, nope, because then I don't have any threats against east. I think this is just an error. I think, like, my, con my, my line should not have made here. And yes, of course you should duck the diamond. I don't know why I somehow thought I could never do that. It's because earlier, when I was before we actually played any diamonds, and I was thinking about whether I should put up the king or not, I was thinking west could lead a low diamond, and I couldn't afford to duck because east could win. But we need east to have the king-queen-jack of diamonds anyway. And then when he plays the king, it's quite obvious that ducking will not allow east to win. So yes, you should duck the diamond, and then the double squeeze around clubs is elementary. Okay. Well, I mean, this there this contract has things to recommend it, right? We have only three losers, optimistically. We lose two spades in the heart, right? Problem is, they look like they're setting up for a club rough. And a red suit squeeze seems highly improbable. So I suspect what we need to do is cash all the diamonds and rough a diamond before the opponents start getting in. So that perhaps the player who roughs a club, West presumably, will have to return a red suit if he roughs with his last spade, right? And then obviously a, a, a diamond gives us a rough slough and a heart. We would just hope he's leading away from the king. Singleton? Okay, sure. You can catch that if you want. Just don't do anything else. Uh oh, he's doing something else. No, that's right. He's out. He's out. Yeah. Okay. See, I don't know. These expert level hands, that first one I spent like 15 minutes on and still got it wrong. And this one's like, oh yeah, give me three seconds. I know what to do. I don't know. I just had a blind slot there for what, to, what was going on, I guess, in the previous deal. Hmm. Yeah, simple enough. Six no trump like can't ever be the right bid here, I don't think. I don't know, maybe three diamonds is stronger than uh, who knows. Uh well I can say pretty confidently we have seven diamond tricks. And then we have four more tricks in hand, so that would do it, right? West's two clubs shows length in both majors. Um It's, I think the question is whether you're, whether you're supposed to duck this hard or not. If you do, I think you're in trouble. Because what you'd like to do is lose a trick so that you can squeeze West in the majors, right? The Ten of Hearts is a threat. Queen of Spades is a threat. He won't be able to guard both of them. The problem is... 
for that to work, you need to have cast the clubs and the hearts, and then the diamonds. Um, that's the only, like, doesn't matter whether you cast clubs first or hearts first, but both of them have to go before diamonds. So that you can cast your last winner ending in dummy where the ten of hearts is. And one spade to the ace is the idea. And if you duck a heart, an alert west will switch to a diamond. If he, if he continued hearts, he'd be golden. But he won't. So you have to play a two-loser squeeze, taking advantage of the fact that west's spade stopper is what what's called vulnerable where it he has a spade stopper the king but if he has to lead spades he won't have a spade stopper that, that's what a vulnerable stopper is and a, a lot of two loser squeezes involve vulnerable stoppers where you force someone to hang on to like a vulnerable stopper and then you say okay please lead it for me here you go have a trick um in that case we can win this ace cash clubs pitching a heart Cash diamonds, pitching everything but two spades and a, another spade, or two spades and a heart, something, I don't know. And then play west. So we're going to have to count his hand a little bit, but shouldn't be hard. Um, okay, so he had one club. And two diamonds. So five, five in the majors. Okay, simple enough to count. We have to find six pitches from hand. Should be easy, right? We have uh, four clubs, and I don't think the hearts are worth anything anyway, and neither is the last spade. So pretty easy. Pitches one heart. He now has three hearts. a lot of spades you're pitching two hearts now he has one heart so we give him a heart trick and he has to play a spade yeah can't afford to duck that heart he'll switch to a diamond and that ruins the timing three spade tricks two hearts and two diamonds is seven we can very easily set up an eighth trick in spades clubs by conceding a trick to the ace and then winning our second honor but that's still one trick short both red suits and the clubs offer chances for a ninth trick Right? If either red suit is 3-3, three, three, um, and you can get to dummy, which is a non-trivial ask because of the spade blockage, then you could get another trick there. Or maybe if clubs were 3-3, three, three, or you could find the jack. Right? Any of those things could happen. How on earth do you combine the chances for all of them in the best way? No hints from the auction, right? It was just like two clubs, two no. Yeah. What if you tried to end play someone into leading clubs instead of doing it yourself? Seems hard. Because for all you know, if you like cash the red suits, they could very well just cash four red suit tricks and a, and a club. So that's not great. And that's ignoring the spade they can cash. You could win the first spade with the king, preserving your dummy entry. 
And if you wanted to, you could then try, like, testing hearts and diamonds. Cash two rounds in each. But no, that's too dangerous. Again, they could cash four red suit tricks and, uh, the ace of clubs. And even if you cash two hearts or two diamonds, you still don't know if you should, like, duck one of them or which one. Or if you should go after clubs. So, it seems like clubs are the only realistic chance for a ninth trick. And that means there's really no issue with spade blockage because you have still all the red ace kings to get to hand with and you don't need to get to dummy except once. So you win the first spade in hand and play a club to the queen. This way, if West has stiff ace or if anybody has stiff jack, we take two club tricks. And then you get the next spade in dummy and lead a club towards the king 10, finessing east for the jack, I guess. So you also therefore win if East has the Jack or if the suit is 3-3. Three, three. I think that's about the best you can do, right? These, these red suits are just not going anywhere. Don't tell me I was supposed to win the first one and lead a club here. I just don't think that's right. Splitting? No, of course not. We lost. Oh, you're right. Sort of. Uh, West had the doubleton jack, and in theory, you could prevent losing to that if you lead the king and then lead up to the ten. But how do you do that when they can force out your dummy entry? You know what, maybe... Maybe you actually lead the king of clubs on the first trick? Because... This fails. This Leading low to the queen is only worth an extra trick if west has stiff ace. But if West has doubleton jack, leading the king first so you can still lead up to the ten after cashing the queen is an improvement, right? I think that makes sense. Winning against doubleton jack instead of against stiff ace. And now, like, we're stuck in dummy, but we can cash the queen and then lead a club up. Yes. Okay. I missed... It just feels so unnatural to lead the king there. But it's right. 3-6. Oh my gosh, what sophistication. The auctions in this thing are always hilarious. I mean, South has a very good hand, right? 25 points? You could, you could play that that's what 3-no shows. Nobody does these days, but... It used to be popular. Um... Six, no trump, huh? As the French would say, actually, I don't, how do you say six in French? I know how to say no trump, I don't know how to say six. <laughs> um, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, sept, six, six, I don't know. Because sept, is seven, is, isn't it? Or is that sep and set? I don't really know. Anyway, no trump is sans a two. I don't know. A two must be the trump suit. A-T-O-U-T. Um, anyway, so we have, what, five clubs and three spades. There's eight black suit tricks. 
Eight's an uncomfortably small number, isn't it? Because we have two red aces. That brings in our total to ten. Which means we somehow need two more tricks in the red suits. And you can't really get a squeeze for two tricks in a situation like this. You would need a triple, a repeating triple squeeze. Um, but like the other thing you could do would be just play on hearts, right? And if East has the king, you get two more tricks. And he might well have the king. But what if he doesn't? He also might just as well not have it. I don't I don't think that any either one of those is more likely than the other. But if we just like I don't know. You can duck this, and then West will have to lead a black suit. Okay, who cares? Or you could win it, cash all the black suits, come down to what, four cards? West can hold King X, Queen X, so he doesn't seem like he's in any trouble there. If he actually has the King of Hearts. I mean, at the table, I think I would already have f taken the finesse and gone down. <laughs> uh, or made it, depending. But, like, what else can you do? Because if you if you duck this and then you play the black suits and West comes down to King X Queen X, you could end play him to go down one instead of two. That would be cool. But you would still be down one, and you could always go down one by just finessing hearts, and then maybe you might even make it. Wouldn't that be something? Maybe. Maybe East is going to show out on this diamond, and then the lesson is you shouldn't finesse in hearts? But I don't think that's going to happen. No. That would not be a level 4 problem. That would be easier. Probably level 3. Oh, wait a minute. This... If you want to finesse east, it's not actually that easy, is it? Because... The hearts get blocked. There was a layout like this before where you have to avoid the heart blockage. You're squeezing yourself when you run all the spades and clubs. So maybe that's why it's important not to duck. Let's see. If I don't duck, well, whether I duck or not, on dummies black suits, I have to find three pitches. And if any of them is a heart, you ruin things. So I have to pitch three diamonds. I can't duck this. Maybe that's what this lesson is about, predicting the heart blockage. Saying, yeah, sure, you need to finesse East for the King of Hearts, but you also can't afford to lose a diamond because you're rectifying the count against yourself to be squeezed. Oh. 
Okay, that's what it was. Right, that's why we can't duck. It seems on general principles you should duck. Yeah, West won't continue, he'll switch, and you'll be screwed. Uh, you run everything, south is squeezed, yep. Duck on general principles was wrong. You must take the heart finesse. Ducking trick one, you're rectifying the count for once you squeeze against yourself, yes. Just win the ace and take the finesse, sure. Last one for today, C24. We have three diamonds, two clubs and two hearts. And at least four spades, but I mean, it needs to be exactly four spades, right? No, it needs to be five spades, right? because we're losing a heart. We can't lose a spade. The best line in this spade suit is to finesse the jack twice, so you can't afford to cast the ace. But you have to also make sure you can get to dummy late to cash your heart pitching a club, and you have to avoid any roughs. I don't think you can use any clubs as entries, right? Because if you do, well, wait, why not? I'm just worried, like, what if hearts are 6-2, the defense wins the second heart and gives itself a spade rough, a heart rough. So... We cross in hearts first, take a finesse, then cross in clubs, take the other finesse, or take the finesse again, rather, and then knock out the heart. I think that makes sense. If we tried at this point to lead a heart, um... Yeah, the defense would be winning the second heart and roughing out the jack. And if you lead a club first, you're also dead, I believe. Oops, what happened? Oh, we're in no trump. I thought we were in spades. <laughs> okay. Um, the deal plays out the same, but you just have to, like, cash your winners in the right order because you can't rough a spade back to hand. Wait a minute. So... If we're in no trump, why does any of this matter? Why can't you just... Um... Hang on, maybe I just wasn't even counting spades properly. Let's redeal now that I know what the contract is. We're in six no trump. We cross in hearts. Take the spade finesse. If East has the queen of spades and either three or four spades, the contract is secure. What if East has five spades? Is there some issue then? Obviously, we can only take four spade tricks. Maybe we could have some spade club squeeze then? The entries would not be great, but maybe that's why we have to hang on to both clubs. Yes, if we're not worried about the defense roughing out a heart, I don't think there's a reason to use up any clubs. Oh... They ducked this. Is that okay with me? Maybe. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. The spades are 5-1. That's why this is interesting.
So if the defense had just won the heart for me, they'd be doing me a favor. Because I could play the simple club spade squeeze. Now I have to do some guessing, I guess. Which I think means cashing both clubs, right? Actually, wait, does it mean that? Yes. Hoping East is the one with three clubs? I don't think he will be, though. Oh, okay, good. Got him. Okay, sure. So just notice what the contract is and it'll be much easier. Plan to take five heart, five spades, yep. Mm-hmm. They duck. Take advantage of this dummy entry and finesse in spades. If East has five, we need him to have club length. If West wins the ace, you have a simple squeeze, yep. Therefore, West will duck. Uh-huh. Then you have a strip squeeze. Taking advantage again, by the way, of the vulnerable stopper. We have ace, king, jack of spades. East stops it with queen third. But if he has to lead any spades, he won't have a stopper anymore. It's a vulnerable stopper. Now, this is a somewhat unusual vulnerable stopper in that, like, it looks like we could just lead through East. But dummy's out of spades, so we're, we have... We need East to lead the suit for us. Yep. You need exactly... Mm. Defender's forced to give up a link to his partner's hands so that he can be unplayed. He needs exactly two losers. Yeah. I mean, that's that's true enough, I guess. But hmm. there, are, there are squeezes like this one where you can have more losers. And basically, like, the difference is whether East has spare winners somewhere, in which case you can squeeze him out of them all, or as many as you have, like, winners yourself, or whether West has all the winners, in which case you need to have exactly two losers. Because you, here we have to squeeze one card out of East's hand. But let's say East was the one with hearts. West's ace didn't have the ace seven. He had like five spades and three clubs and some heart winners. And we had like three losers. But we needed one extra trick. So we could afford to lose two. We could still then just like cash everything. And he would have to pitch down to two hearts uh, instead of... I don't know, whatever. There are squeezes a lot like this where you can have more than two losers. But yes, when when his exit card is to his partner, when, when the card outside of the threat suits that you're squeezing him in, I don't know. This, this isn't really a link to his partner's hand, right? I mean, it is, but that's not what matters. If this were his own winner, we would have exactly the same issue. We would need to squeeze it out of him. Mm. Which I think is... Mm, these vulnerable stopper squeezes, they kind of work with any number of losers in a way. And they, they just only produce one trick. The, the victim has to throw away winners while you're running the other stuff. I don't know. Don't listen to me. Go read a real book. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.